the fringe benefit's taxable value can be reduced where the benefit is otherwise deductible to the employee. Otherwise deductible means that the employee would have been entitled to an income tax deduction in respect of expenses incurred in earning their assessable income. Let's consider Max, who receives an interest-free loan of $10,000 from his employer on the 1st of April. As at the 31st of March in the same FBT year, the entire balance of the loan is outstanding. Max provides his employer with a declaration that $4,000 of the loan was used to purchase income-producing shares listed on the ASX, and $6,000 was used for a family holiday to Tasmania. If Max had incurred unreimbursed interest expenses in borrowing funds to purchase income-producing assets, that is, the shares, then that interest would have been immediately deductible under Section 8-1 of the ITAA 97. In this case, $4,000 or 40% of the loan has been used to earn assessable income from dividend yielding listed shares. Note that it is not $4,000 of the loan that is otherwise deductible. Only the interest expense on that $4,000 would be otherwise deductible. The notional interest expense on $4,000 of the loan at the statutory interest rate for the relevant FBT year would be subtracted from the total benefit provided. Assume that the statutory interest rate was 6%. The total benefit provided on the $10,000 loan would therefore be $600. As 40% of the loan was used for income producing purposes, the interest amount of $240 is deducted, leaving a fringe benefits taxable value of $360, which is the interest relating to the private portion of the benefit provided. The otherwise deductible methodology effectively passes on the notional employee income tax deduction to the employer in the form of a reduction in taxable value for FBT purposes. It's important to note that the otherwise deductible rule is not restricted to earning employment income from the employer that provides the benefit. It applies to any income producing activity that would have resulted in an allowable deduction in the employee's individual tax return. However, there are some important conditions that we must remember. The employee must provide a declaration to the employer stating the amount they could otherwise claim in relation to the benefit. Only employee notional deductions are considered, not associates of employees. Only immediate deductions are eligible, that is, those amounts that would be fully deductible in the income year incurred per Section 8-1 of the ITAA 97. Amounts deducted over a period of time, such as depreciation or borrowing costs, would not be included. Furthermore, only certain fringe benefit types can apply the otherwise deductible rule, including expense payments, loans, property, board and residual fringe benefits. To recap, the otherwise deductible rule applies to reduce the fringe benefits taxable value of certain benefits provided to an employee by the amount that would have been otherwise deductible by that employee.